never the same. Never comes from the American military base on the outskirts of Christchurch Airport like I used to do in 1981, I'll tell you. <laughs> so, woo, those officers knew how to fly. Down on the deep freeze, I'm sure they had a fantastic time. They've seen colours everywhere. So, whoa, the ice isn't white. The ice is multicoloured and moving. Anyway, I digress. This is called hydrosliding. Chris, you're allowed to cut loose. Hydrosliding. The last time I went hydrosliding, we were all on LSD. And I had my pet dolphin with me, a blue plastic model called Flipper, who got his very own rubber mat from the kindly attendant. Let's recap. The last time I went hydrosliding, we were all on LSD, and I had my pink blue dolphin with me called Flipper, who had his very own rubber mat he got from the kindly attendant. Yeah. Now, I kept thinking that my nose was bleeding and running red down my face, though later the Germanic supervisor ordered me from the pool. Ordered me from the pool. Ordered me from the pool because my shorts were not of regulation. Here comes a tangent. In 1982, 81, the official uh, Water Preservation Act had in it a subclause saying that people could not swim in public baths in frayed cuff jeans. True story. The frayed cuff jeans was clearly harboring all sorts of bacterial half-life like Ebola, shit like that. Once it gets into the water stream, you don't know where you're going to go. It's all bad, I know that. So, ordered me from my pool, shorts, not a, shorts were not of regulation, but last time I was hydrosliding, we were all in LSD. I just got just about to get kicked out of the pool because my shorts were not of regulation, but I stopped. I'd stopped to grapple with the lane floats which in my mind had become like long water pythons coiled and ready to strike so, so, so she called the pool security men and they, they were menacing big blokes with regulation bodies and closed and regulation shorts, so, later, later, Later in the changing sheds, I tried to talk to some young kids gathered around me about the benefits of revolutionary socialism, which I explained to them as meaning, fuck you kids, everybody's got a jet boat in their own backyard. And then, and only then did I notice, while the kids were around me in a curious knot, their fathers, their fathers, clearly troubled by my presence, glowering, confirming their worst fears about commie, druggy, child and lightness. So, outside, outside in the bright sunlight, we, outside in the bright sunlight, we, outside in the bright sunlight, we threw eggs up into the sky which broke their yokes like a thousand suns and then later we and then later we drove later we drove through later we drove through an empty cemetery later we drove through an empty cemetery eating 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 spearmint Eating spearmint lollies, full stop. Palm ends, full stop.